Belarusian conservatives include a curious mix of nostalgic communists and fervent religious orthodox believers. They take to the streets to show their support for President Alexander Lukashenko. But it is the workers at state-owned enterprises that make up the core support base for Lukashenko. Unlike in Russia, these companies, including this vehicle factory, survived the Soviet collapse. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, we made a great effort to maintain jobs, especially highly qualified personnel. The state and the factory itself focused on finding new markets. Many workers in this factory joined the work stoppages to protest the use of police violence. But at no time, experts say, was a change in the production model put on the table. Economic factors are uh, not so important this time. Uh, in my view, uh, the main problem is uh, trying to, fi uh, to find some links uh, with economics. Uh, this is a problem of um, lack of uh, the hope for better future. The workers went on strike, demanding the use of police violence cease, re-election, and release of those arrested during the protests. Belarusian industrial production is almost entirely controlled by the state, a system that is maintained thanks to the fact that Russia buys the vast majority of its products. Our main partner is and will be Russia. More than 60% of our budget depends on the various agreement we have with Moscow. But the pressure against Lukashenko's government has picked up strength over the last two months. So much so that even those close to the government now admit that reforms, including in the economic system, are necessary in order for Belarus to face the future. We do not live in the past. This is not the Soviet Union. Why do people now talk about reforms and changes? They are certainly necessary, but they must be peaceful. Belarusian society has changed much since the 1990s, but its politics and economics have not. It is a system that some say is capable of surviving Lukashenko himself. For Ricardo Marquina in Minsk, I'm John Spear, VOA News.